I was switching back and forth between current and voltage readings on this multimeter and I think I might have left the prongs in current mode when I connected it up to my motorcycle battery and likely burned up the fuse. It can still measure voltage but it has definitely lost its ability to measure current. Despite what it says in the front, the fuse is actually rated for a different current. If we look behind, the fuse in this multimeter is a 250 volts 0.5 ampere fuse that is 20 millimeters in length. Fuses do come in different sizes and it is important to get the exact replacement to get it to fit. For my multimeter, I just need to unscrew the two screws at the bottom and lift the rear cover to review the fuse. The fuse can then be easily accessed by pulling it out from the fuse holder. And here it is, the fuse is right at the bottom of the multimeter and from here on we can just remove it by hand. I have bought a pack of 10 fuses to keep in my stash just in case I absent-mindedly connect or shut out my multimeter in current mode again. These 10 fuses were about 2 Singapore dollars but they took almost 2 weeks to arrive so it's good to keep some on hand. Let's double check that they look exactly the same and it looks like it does. And there it is, uh, we have placed the fuse back in the fuse holder. Closing up the multimeter is just the reverse of what we have done earlier. We just have to snap on the top part of the multimeter followed by the bottom part. And lastly, we just have to screw in the screws. And now, just to double check that the old fuse is indeed blown, let's turn it to continuity mode and let's test it. Okay, as you can see, there's no sound, no changes to the reading, indicating that the fuse is indeed blown. And now let's test a new fuse and see if it does the same. And now you can see that there's a reading and the, the, the beep sound indicates that there's continuity between the two ends of the fuse. And that is pretty much all I have to show you regarding the changing of fuse in a multimeter. And just to talk a little bit more about the new fuses that I've bought, the new fuses are not exactly from the original manufacturer of this multimeter but it's not necessary to purchase one that is from the manufacturer itself you can always get any any fuses from anywhere as long as it is the same size and the same rating 